study is the nucleus, which is a central part of an atom. An atom has electrons surrounding the nucleus. We take off some of the electrons and then study the behavior. But this is what you would see if we could open up the accelerator itself. Although well, there is much larger. The facility we just saw is the accelerator itself. It produces the energetic charged particle beams. Once the charged particle beams are available, then we use magnets to steer that beam through the various evacuated pipes to various areas. And this particular room has one area for studying gamma rays, which uh, Dr. Bruni focuses on, and one line for charged particles. This is another of our target areas. In this room, we have a facility for using nuclear techniques to study what we call solid state or condensed matter physics. That's this large apparatus over there. Uh, Dr. Ingram leads the research uh, group which uses that facility. We also have two other beam lights. There's one in the center, and this one is used largely by people who come from other universities and federal labs to collaborate with us on experiments. They can bring their equipment and set it up here. One of the more important things we've done here is to make some very precise measurements of neutron proton scattering, which have relevance in cancer therapy. This is our last experimental area. We can use the beam which is produced by the accelerator, steer it into this assembly right here, which is a so-called reaction chamber, and then we measure the particles that are produced when the beam coming from the accelerator strikes a foil. We measure the products in these beam pipes, uh, as you see here. And this has, when it's fully assembled, 10 such pipes, so we can look at 10 directions at once.